Because this corn is good corn. Sweet, good, fresh. You can't get something fresh like this in a market. Every year I just crave it and I just love the corn. Come on in! Yeah. Welcome everybody! I come on out and get some of that sweet corn. I love the corn. As for why it's so good, I can't explain. It's just better than anything you can find in the area. I'm Austin LaSalle. Uh, I'm a student assistant for the vegetable crops unit. Well, I would say we have about 110, 120 acres out here in the vegetable crops unit. And the vast majority, about 90 acres, are, are in sweet corn. And that's evenly uh, divided between yellow sweet corn and white sweet corn. What is a typical day like out here? There is never a typical day. <laughs> you, you can get to work and, and you never know what you're going to be doing that day. I'll trade you. In here. Anything you can imagine with corn, I, I've probably done it and uh, or will do it eventually this summer. This is white corn. And see the, co the, uh, the kernels are getting there. Uh, the, uh, the silk's not attached anymore and they just need some filling up to do. So maybe two weeks. My name is Ulises Gonzalez. I do a lot of the pretty much management and taking care of the corn. If we plant some early, we plant some later, that way we always have corn. That way demand's always met. I even lived no more than an hour away and I had never really understood the importance of Fresno State corn, but when you're actually out here working and and you tell people, oh, I work in the vegetable crops unit. They say, oh, so you work with the sweet corn. And they, they make a whole big deal about it. And now that I started working here, even my, my in-laws are kind of raving about it. Like, oh my God, you work for the sweet corn. We want sweet corn. And then when you yeah, pop you it wanna, open. You want to look for the milk line, see how far the yellow has gone down. And so that's, that might be just about right. I won't hold anything against uh, someone that, that likes white corn over yellow corn. Uh, but yellow corn's my favorite. You know, I'm leaning towards the yellow a little bit, so I'm not quite sure yet. I've gotten calls from people from Las Vegas. Um, they're like, oh, when is corn coming in? They actually like freeze it and they use it the whole year. And was that saying, nothing's ever easy in egg? <laughs> we actually go through the whole process. We plant it, we ring roll it, we water it, we do everything to it. So once it's this tall, it it gives you a sense of you did something, you, you fulfilled something. And then when this goes out to the market and people eat it and people rave about it, you, you feel like you actually did something for the community. Come on in! Yeah. Welcome everybody! I'm going to fry corn, I'm going to boil corn, corn pudding, and corn salsa. We bought 40. There, there's not a, a silver bullet, that, a secret weapon that we have that makes the sweet corn taste so good. The ultimate thing that sets us apart is there is not a day when this corn doesn't have access to water or the nutrients that it needs. And so I think that that really close attention to detail and the strive for perfection that we try and try and go goes the extra mile and create the, the, the great product that, that's produced out in these fields. I'm very proud to be a part of it. <laughs> 